if you're chronically stressed, stress really affects your menstrual cycle in a huge way. In some cases it can turn it off completely because your body prioritises the resources such as nutrients and oxygen that go to the key organs and muscles in your body. However, if you have chronic stress in your life and nothing to up offset that, so no nourishing practices or self-care, then your cycle is going to be wonky. Stress can cause ovulation to stop from occurring and then a week later your body might try again. However, if you're chronically stressed, you may see cervical fluid peaks where your body is trying to ovulate and unsuccessfully doing so and then stopping. If you get stressed out throughout your luteal phase, it can cause the luteal phase to shorten uh, because your body no longer feels safe to continue a pregnancy or a possible pregnancy. So it's really important that we look at managing stress and yes I know it can be really hard in today's modern life to get rid of stress completely but there are ways you can cut down on things that are unnecessary or add in things that help you feel good. Um, thirdly, you need to be supporting your body by eating decent food. No amount of certain foods is going to restore your cycle if you live off food that isn't nurturing your body. So if you're eating processed food all day long, then you need to be looking at increasing the amount of vegetables in your diet and other plants as well. If you're eating lots and lots of processed sugar and refined foods, your body's not going to have the chance to sort itself out, you need to be supporting it by giving it real food. So my motto is um, eat food that rots but eat it before it does rot and that should give you a good idea of whether food is processed or not. The more processed it is the less likely it is to rot. And finally exercise. It's really important that you do move your body even if it's just gentle exercise such as walking or yoga, just doing some movement even if it's for a few minutes every day and by doing all these things you're supporting your body and your biochemistry to help produce the hormones that you need at the right phase of your cycle. I hope that, that was useful and I'll see you in the next video. Take care!